Okay, she was seven. Okay, so I'm going to tell y'all how to use the law of attraction and visualization to attract the type of people you want in your life and to also attract how people treat you, like how you want people to treat you. Okay, so if y'all don't know what the law of attraction is, it's basically whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're focusing on, it's going to attract to you, whether it's positive or negative, okay? So if you're constantly worried about something, you're going to attract more things to be worried about, okay? If you're constantly afraid of something, you're going to attract more things to be afraid of. But if you're constantly thinking about what you do want and focusing on positive things and things that you like and want to come into your life, then you're going to attract that as well, okay? And instead of focusing on what you don't want, you need to focus on what you do want. So we need to stop focusing on these type of men that we don't want in our lives. We need to stop acknowledging them. We need to stop talking to them. We need to stop complaining about them. And we need to just focus on the type of men you do want, okay? So, um, so right now, we're not going to even acknowledge those guys who, you know, who aren't about anything, who don't know how to treat women. We're going to focus on the men who do, okay? Um, so the type of man that you're going to want is a good man who is financially stable, would make a good father if you want children, um, knows how to treat you, has manners, something, someone you can bring home to meet your parents, mom, dad, um, and, and someone who is respected, you know, someone who you can brag about to your friends, and someone you can be proud to be married to, you know, someone who is marriage minded, someone who values and understands the true worth of having a wife or a long term relationship. So this is who we want to focus on now, the guys who have their stuff together. So I just want to say guys who have your stuff together or who are getting your things together or your life in order. Thank you for being who you are and striving to be, you know, the type of men most women you know, want. Thank you for being almost like a lottery ticket when a woman meets you because you are what, you know, others strive to be, you know. So thank y'all. Thank y'all good guys. Okay. So to attract one of these good guys or if, you know, for guys to attract one of these good ladies who have their stuff together and not crazy and mentally messed up from past relationships and who know how to let stuff go and move forward in life and not be emotionally uh paranoid about everything let's focus on the type of women we do want smart understanding kind nurturing um knows what they want not afraid to speak their mind okay upfront on honest let's focus on what we do want and let's say you know, if we have some spare time on our lunch break or ooh, ambulance, we live right next to like a fire station. So yeah, there's an ambulance that drove by. Oops. So you're going to want to like, if you have a lunch break or something, you want to take that time to visualize the type of relationship you do want to be in, the type of guy or girl you want to be with, you know, just visualize the future. Like, oh, that's who I'm going to marry, someone just like that. Imagine your wedding day. Imagine, you know, your family, your kids. Imagine all that stuff. Just keep doing that when you go off to daydream because, or if you meditate or, you know, write or whatever. Just keep that vision in your mind and don't let it stray and don't be afraid that it'll never come, you know. And also, don't talk about people that you don't want. Talk about only the guys or the women that you do want to attract. Don't talk bad about the guys anymore. You know, we've we've been there and done that. We understand the type of man we don't want. <clears throat> so let's let's play up the man we do want. Because if, if you're a woman or a man and you're talking about women and men in a, in a good way, especially the kind that you do want, that's what you're going to start attracting into your life. People aren't going to see you as angry and bitter and mad at the world and mad at guys in general, they're going to say, oh, she's looking for a good man. She's looking for a good man, not just any man, but a good man. And she is a good woman because she is 
talking good about men. So automatically, this is going to start attracting good people in your life, good men, good women who know good men who can introduce you. Okay. <clears throat> because we all know some, all, most women aren't all about the money. They just want a decent, good man, you know, a good, decent, medium life. And that's fine, you know. So that's what you need to keep in your mind. And don't worry about these other guys. Don't worry about the past guys. Don't worry about the guys trying to approach you that you're going to shoot down in, with, within two seconds because that's not what you want. You know, start thinking about nice guys and nice women and say, hey, you know, I, I really appreciate men and when you're talking about these type of men you know say what you like about them you know talk about them to your friends talk about them to your mom and dad say like, mom i want to marry a man who's got all his financial uh priorities in the right order i want uh, a good father for my children uh when we have kids or a stepfather if i already have kids or whatever just talk about what you want not what you don't want, okay? Keep talking about it. Talk, talk, talk. Because you never know who's listening, who might know someone, who might introduce you. Or you never know what man is listening. Like, oh my gosh, you know, that's me. That sounds like me, you know? <laughs> talk up, guys. With good qualities, that is. And don't even waste your time dogging out guys anymore. Don't even waste your time talking bad about them anymore. Because obviously it doesn't work. They don't care. They're not going to change, I'm sure. Many women have tried to change them, including their mothers, but they probably couldn't. So they just like chalked it up to lost cause, which we should do as well. We should just move on to the men who are worth our time, okay? Because while we're spending time bashing these guys, we could be praising the good ones, you know? So let's do that. I know plenty of good guys <clears throat> out there, you know, who know how to handle their business and have a good relationship and be a good father. I see them every day. You know, sometimes I see them like outside playing with their kids, bringing their wife's flowers home. You know, I see that every day in my neighborhood. You know, people celebrating anniversaries at restaurants. Look at those couples. Try to look at couples that you want to, you know, one day be like. Don't look at couples who you know have problems. Look at couples who are happy, happy families, and just vibrate and manifest from those, you know, vis visualizations and, you know, examples because we can't focus on the bad anymore. It's just not going to work. So, you know, go to places where you're going to see families. Go to places where you're going to see good couples who have their stuff together. Go to places and, and you know, just, just watch and see how they are towards each other. Observe. See what type of guy they are, you know. So when you're out and about, You'll recognize it in the man that you meet. You'll say, oh, my God, his, he has qualities just like, you know, that guy I saw who was married to that lady with all them kids and they were so happy. He reminds me of that person. So you automatically know that he has good qualities, you know. So, yeah, I, I'm stepping away from the negativity for a while only because it's not going to really help you. <laughs> I mean, you already know what to avoid. You already know what type of men don't want to pay for your meal you already know what type of man only wants sex from you you already know who that is okay now let's focus on who the type of men who are going to marry you are okay and they are out there believe me and a lot of people are trying to use all these stupid statistics or there's not enough men in the world da, 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 da. yeah yes there is there's there's men for you know people die every day did they forget about that <laughs> People are born every day and people die every day. You know, people date out of their age range. People date younger. People date older. Uh, people die and are widowed. People, you know, divorce. So they didn't factor in all of that kind of good stuff, you know. So don't worry about that. Every, I mean, think about it. The only people who are really going to be single are those people that nobody really wants because something is actually just wrong with them, you know. <laughs> and if nothing is absolutely wrong with you then you shouldn't have any problem finding finding a mate you know uh anybody can go out and find a boyfriend that's that's just easy you know but is it going to be the right one is it going to be the one that it's going to help you um you know have a good life have a better life is it going to be a good father and this this, this and that 
Yes. I said, you know, y'all know I said make a list. Focus on that list. Focus on men who are good examples, who you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, raising a family with. Base it on those guys, you know. Let's celebrate the goodness. Let's celebrate the good guys because they're very untalked about. They're very um, un unacknowledged sometimes. They get, you know, piled in with all the other guys. And, you know, sometimes we forget to say, you know, thank you. So I know there's a lot of guys who believe in the same thing as I do. And they will say, you know, you're right. A man does need to take care of his family and he doesn't need to get married until he can do so. Uh, <clears throat> my, a man's job is to provide and protect for his family and his wife. And that's just how a lot of men still think. And those are the type of men who, you know, get left out. And so I'm just going to tell y'all, thank you for thinking like that. Thank you for holding on to those, those same values. And thank you for understanding and knowing a woman's worth, a wife's worth. Okay, so if y'all are single, if there's anybody, any of those guys out there who are single, who believe in that, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of single ladies watching this, so maybe y'all can put some in the comments and, you know, <laughs> start a conversation. I don't know. I'm so thirsty today, y'all. Anyway, and, you know, Walk around thinking about what you want instead of, you know, a lot of men complain about women walking around with attitudes and don't want to talk to you and like, uh, yeah, well, those, those women who don't want to talk to you, I don't know if they don't know if you're a nice guy or a good guy. That's why they act like that because they're used to encountering negative situations. So if you're a good guy and you want to approach a woman, you just smile and make eye contact. Don't say nothing to her. A smile and make eye contact. Let her know you appreciate what you know what you're looking at. Don't don't make any uh, uh, uh. just like you know smile. Like don't make her feel uncomfortable with your smile. Like you're looking at her booty or whatever. You know, <clears throat> just smile like a respectful smile. Like, and if they feel comfortable, they will actually give you a sign to come and talk to them. They will be like. They'll, they might look your way or they might look back and they might say, you know, walk a little slower or distract themselves or fake drop their phone so you can come and approach them. Okay. And women give off signals like that. Men who like hoop and holler at women and like say, hey, baby, good. You know, women are like, oh, my God, they do that to everybody. Let me get up out of here. You know, but if you just smile, a respectable smile and. You know, you look good, she looks good, you're attracted, she's attracted. She's going to slow down, drop something, turn around, wait for you to come get her. Okay? So, that's the signal. <clears throat> I know that's what I used to do <laughs> uh, when I was single. Like, if I saw a guy I like and he, he didn't, like, hoop and holler at me, I was even more interested. I was like, oh, my God, he's cute and he didn't even hoop and holler, but he did smile. So, guess what? I'm going to drop my purse or my phone or my lipstick or I'm going to backtrack and go this way and... I'm going to make sure he sees me looking at him. And, and then eventually, yes, they do come over, you know. So, guys, remember that. You see a lady looking back at you and they drop something and they're fidgeting around and slowing down. And that means they want you to approach them. Unless they're just really clumsy. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's usually the sign. Come on. Okay. So, um, I'm going to end this video. And I hope that y'all take what I said into consideration and start focusing on the men you do want and ignore these other guys. I mean, I'm not even going to acknowledge these trolls anymore because it's wasting my time. I mean, we already know those aren't the ones that we're looking for. So, so well, I already got mine, but y'all, I try to, I try to, uh, you know, put myself in y'all's shoes, so. I will say thank you good guys thank you good men and i'll see y'all later bye